out of my chair? Can you move out of my chair? Look at this. We got a new package. We have a new fashion video to make. I need my chair. Oh, I thought you were getting up. Nope, just rearranging. <laughs> okay, enough. Move. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> hello. Hello, Polity Pals. Hello, K-pop stands. And especially hello to our featured patron. Upside down on your head. <laughs> Gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> Rock T, my babe, Rock. Oh, Rock, 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 Rock. It has been so fun having you in the Bloody Pals. An OG patron right here, y'all. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you love Korean fashion, babe, because that is what we are about to get into. It's gonna be so fun. So let's stick you on up to the rainbow cloud. Rock. Thanks, babe. Okay, okay. So for woo, almost knocked my whole table over. Okay. Okay. So for years, I have been blabbering on and on and on and on and on about how much I love J fashion. If you don't know that by now, you must be new. So welcome, welcome. Okay, but maybe less like widely known, like well known. I also love K fashion. I love Korean fashion. I've been incorporating Korean street fashion elements and like little inspo pieces here and there in my outfits for years. Like pulling little bits of J fashion, little bits of K fashion, sprinkle in a little bit of like glittery rainbow Alexa, and that is the style that you usually see me in. That's me. So since we've been shouting out J fashion since the birth of this channel five years ago, <laughs> It's about time we do a K fashion haul. What do you think? Enter this week's video sponsor, Unzi, the Korean fashion store that is like, ooh, K pop central. <laughs> if Jimin wears it, Unzi will make it. <laughs> they have tons of clothes inspired by both K pop stars, like they'll have BTS hoodies. Okay, it's mostly BTS. <laughs> mostly BTS. And also the fashion that they wear, like they'll have side-by-side -side pictures of like them wearing it and then Unzi's version of it. So if you like K-pop or you like the K-pop style or just K-fashion in general, such a cute shop. Okay, so for this video, I have picked out four outfits from Unzi inspired by K-pop and Korean street fashion mixed in with a little bit of personal Alexa style. <laughs> and dudes, I am so pumped for this. I know I say that all the time, but wait till you see these fits, y'all. You should have seen me scrolling on Unzi like, oh yeah, let's put this with this, with this shoes, with this hair. Yes, girl. I was like having the time of my life making little like virtual flat lays in my brain like, Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and unbox, review, style, try on all the fun funness in our little K-pop bags here. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, so the first outfit I have here is a purple overall BTS outfit. I am so, so curious about these purple overalls because on their website, there's not a full picture of them. Like there's one full body picture, but she's kind of like sitting down and like kicking back and I can't really tell how it's supposed to fit. And I'm guessing I'm probably like a hundred times taller than her. <laughs> like I don't have any clue how this is supposed to fit. So I mostly got it because I think purple overalls would be cool to have. And I wanted to show you what they actually look like. <laughs> So I got these in a size large because I am quite tall for most Asian fashion stores and I figured if it was too big this style would be fine for it to be a little bit oversized. What? Okay, so this is already kind of weird. I'm like trying to put the straps on because it doesn't come like attached like that. So I'm like trying to hook the straps together and the little hooky thing here is like all the way on the side instead of in the middle to like what okay hold on <laughs> so i'm gonna have to push <laughs> it to the middle like that can you tell from the front what wait oh oh okay <laughs> based on how this one is this side so i think you're meant to get the little hooky thing and stick it through that hole and then you can hook it through the center. All right, all right, all right. Learning curve, sorry guys, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Squeeze it on in there. Okay, we're back on track now, y'all. See, okay, right, cancel everything I already said. That is how you put it together, if you need to know. <laughs> so you'll pull the straps like that. All right, that's 
that's better. That's how it should be done. Okay, it's not like messed up or broken. It was just off center a little bit. So you just had to like swoosh it through that middle hole and then yeah, that's how you do it, okay? <laughs> okay, now we are all hooked in. We have our purple over overalls. They have these really wide pant legs and they are wide all the way through, all the way down to the bottom. They also look a bit short. I don't think that they are supposed to go all the way down to your feet. I think they're supposed to sit right above your ankles as part of the style. Can't wait to see how they fit. I definitely don't have any wide leg overalls like this or even pants like this, so I am definitely excited to see how they fit, how they look, and how they pair with the other things I got to go with this outfit. So to go with the purple overalls, I got this black tee that says, are you okay? This is called a no face tee, but it doesn't, the face on here is not exactly like no face, like it doesn't have the bottom things. I think I have a little no face around here. Let me grab. Let me grab for comparison, hold on. Okay, so not exactly the same. <laughs> Uh, not exactly a no face tee, but no face inspired. Let's call it that. I got this because I wanted kind of an oversized black t-shirt to go with those overalls. Like big oversized t-shirts and sweaters and things are something I always think of when I think of K-fashion. And it comes in one size on undies, so I got it because this is another one I just wanted to test and see. <laughs> kind of like up in the air because on the product page it looks like an oversized tee, but it's one size, so like it... <laughs> it totally depends on your body type if it's oversized or not. So I got it so that we can see what it looks like on my body type. So let's see the shape of it. All right, it's very boxy. It's very wide, but short, I think. But I also got this shirt to wear with overall, so I don't know. This is another one that I can't really tell until I try it on. <laughs> this first outfit is a bunch of question marks, isn't it? <laughs> and then we have this BTS I Purple You dad hat. Let's see. <laughs> that I got to match our purple overall. So it says I purple you on the front. The back says BTS. It's one of these kind of sizers. I like these where you just pop it up and you can kind of slide it to however big you want it. Pop it back down and it makes it very easy to size it to your head. Quality feels good. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. <laughs> so we really have the main like core of this outfit here already just from Unzi. We got the pants, the shirt, and the hat. So I think to finish styling it, I'm gonna top it off with these purple Demonia platform sneakers. I think they're called Neptunes something. <laughs> I'll remember the name of these eventually, but those are gonna be perfect. Purple collar choker thing from Dolls Kill and the Rockstar Wigs 24 inch straight lace front in black. And uh, some black socks, black socks too. Okay, mm. outfit number one. So the overalls, they are a bit big for me, no doubt there. I wish I would have stuck with my normal size of medium for this one. The uh, pant legs are supposed to be big like this. I have them rolled up a little bit. Let me show you how long they are. They're like that, which I feel like is kind of an awkward height on my body. I am 5'8", by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that in this video yet. <laughs> So I have them rolled up to be a little bit higher so that you can see these socks too. But yeah, the legs are supposed to be big like this, but you can just tell like in the waist up here, hold on. You can tell in the waist up here that it just doesn't fit me right. But like I said earlier, for this style, it's fine for it to be a little bit oversized. Like it's meant to be big anyway. And it gives me a bunch of room to tuck this big shirt in. If it was like tight, tight, I'd be like, Ooh! <laughs> but yeah, easy, easy. I feel really, really cute in this. I know this is not gonna be everybody's style, but I feel freaking cute and it is K-poppy to the max. The shirt here, it's better than I thought it would be uh, when I put it on. I thought it was gonna be like super boxy, but I think it just looked that way because these sleeves are so long, which again is part of the style. I love it, honestly. <laughs> and the hat, the hat. It's a BTS dad hat. It's perfect. <laughs> the uh, purples from the hat and the overalls are like slightly, slightly different. They're super, super similar. Like I would definitely still wear them together, but oh my God, the purple from the Demonia. Hold on, let me just take a moment and show you. <laughs> I'm so much shorter. <laughs> But the purple in my Demonia Neptune, literally the same two purples. <laughs> like the styling is absolutely perfect. It couldn't get any more perfect. I'm like dying. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, so for the next outfit, I have all of these pieces. <laughs> this one is like straight unzi all the way through. We have a shirt, a skirt, socks, 
shoes and a purse. And when I was doing a virtual flat lay in my mind with this outfit, I was thinking black, pink, and like a shiny, like iridescent. I think they call it laser something on the website. So first, uh, let's take a look at the shirt. It is a black, weird. Okay, so this is the shirt. It says, I'm not your babe, which I thought is actually kind of hilarious because I call everybody babe. <laughs> it's like my nickname for like anybody and everybody. My first impression of this shirt is, it doesn't look exactly like I was expecting it to. In the, the product pictures, which I'll put over here, I was expecting first the print to be bigger, take up more of the shirt. Also, I think the font is a little bit different. Like it's taller in the product picture. But the main thing that looks different to me is the colors. I thought it was gonna be all pink. It's like orange, pink, and blue? Definitely wasn't expecting there to be any blue in there. So I had kind of planned the whole outfit around the pink. Weird though, when I hold it further back, like on my monitor over there, it looks all pink. But it's definitely not. I guess it's trying to do like a 3D sort of look by having the different colors. Weird. It definitely looks all pink on my monitor. My brain, <laughs> what? I definitely think it's still gonna work and it's still gonna be cute. Oh, and also the fabric is very soft and very stretchy. Feels pretty nice, I like it. So to go with this shirt, which has now confused my brain <laughs> so much, um, I have this skirt, which is their laser PU high-waisted pleated skirt for $34.99. Can you guys see? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god, that's so fun. <laughs> so I got the skirt in a size large, which now that I'm wearing these overalls, I'm second guessing a little bit, but the reason I got it in a large, this material looked like it would not be stretchy whatsoever, remotely at all, and I wanted to be able to tuck an oversized t-shirt into it, so if it was even close to being too small, I was nervous I wouldn't be able to do that. So I went ahead and got a large, I don't know if that was the right call. I didn't think it would be stretchy and I am, was right about that, it is not stretchy at all. So we'll have to see how it fits. And it also comes in like a hot pink color too, which also like just seems like it would be so, so good to go with the I'm Not Your Babe shirts. But the reason I got it in this silver color is because I really wanted to be able to tie in this. Oh my God, so cute. Game over Game Boy purse, which actually we had a Game Boy purse in our last video too. <laughs> which you can't see in this frame right now, but it's right up on the top of my shelf. I have a type, okay, I love it, I love it. <laughs> this is the Game Boy Angel purse. Oh my god, it's so cute, look at the wings. <laughs> Can you see why I got the silver skirt to go with this? Because look. They are perfect together. This silver shiny is like the same as the wings and the screen here. There's like chunky silver glitter all over the Game Boy. Uh, I think maybe the only thing that I would change about it, which is something that is actually quite easy to change, instead of a gold crossbody strap, I would probably do silver just to match like this part better. But the chain is attached with these little clippy guys. So if you have a silver chain, you could just easily, easily take this off. Just put your own silver chain on there. That is a good way to sort that right out <laughs> and then working my way down the fit I got myself some black socks I got these black thigh high socks they're just solid black a great staple piece to have in your collection you know how I feel about socks and how they can be incorporated into literally everything anything always <laughs> and these do have a little band around the top up here if I turn it inside out let me see if you can see it yeah like that this band to help them stay up because there's nothing worse than when thigh highs are like rolling down your leg all the way down you're like no you're meant to be on my thigh so those are really nice those socks and then the last thing for this outfit <laughs> i'm so excited for this these chunky oh my god look how they look at my room these chunky pink again they call this laser but it's this like it's like a shiny uh iridescent slash holographic depending on the thing material, this up here, same as the skirt, same as what's on the Game Boy purse. Oh my god, these are freaking sick. I hope these fit. They look a little small, so I hope they fit. When I first pulled these out of the bag, I was thinking that the mixing of the different pinks, there's three different pinks in here, and I was thinking at first, like, I don't know about that, but like, I just looked at them for like 
four seconds and I'm like, okay, I love this. <laughs> so you have the shiny pink of the siding, this light kind of like dusty pink and then a kind of darker dusty pink here and up on the tongue. I have been wanting to get a pair of these chunky heeled shoes. Like these have been very popular for a while now. So I'm super excited to have this pair. This is my first pair. <laughs> so let's go ahead and finish pairing this up. I think we'll grab out this pink uh, Taurus wig. It's a Zodiac wig from Uvemia. I'll link the video up here in the corner for you if you haven't seen the entire Zodiac collection. There's 12 of them, they're crazy. But yeah, I think this pink is gonna go perfectly with the kind of like dusty pink color of this outfit. And I think this beanie from Dolls Kill, this go away beanie really drives home the point that I am not your babe. <laughs> go away. Sending a message loud and clear with this outfit. And maybe I'll grab our little iridescent Ouija necklace as well. Um, especially now that I know that there's blue in this outfit a little bit. What is going on? <laughs> Woo! Close one! Close one! I am so, so glad I got a large in this skirt, y'all. Because again, no stretch, no give whatsoever. It's also like hella short, y'all. <laughs> Uh, so if I were to wear this out, I would definitely want some safety shorts or something just in order to feel comfortable wearing it. It's really, really short. <laughs> I do really, really like the finish though. Like, it's shiny! It's so shiny! <laughs> and it does fit me really well, so no complaints here, but def, 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 size up on this one. This, like, a mystery brain melting shirt, okay? <laughs> to me, from afar, like where you are, it looks pink. Right? When I come up close, it's definitely blue and orange. I know that Alex has a shirt too and hers is pink and purple, so that's what I was expecting. I don't know if they've changed their designs since she got hers, but like, this is not, not it. <laughs> I mean, it's cute though. It is very soft, but it is just kind of like, it is just kind of like a normal t-shirt. So, I feel like the price for this one is a bit overpriced, in my opinion. The socks, I love. You know I have a soft spot <laughs> for socks. And these are good ones, right? Would you wear them? We're gonna need another pair for all your feet. <laughs> the quality of them, I mean, it feels really nice. The band is like, it's like just tight enough to hold them up so they don't roll all the way down my leg, but not too tight where it's like bugging me, you know? This might be my new like go-to black thigh high socks which like if anybody else is saying that you're probably like okay it was probably your only black pair but you guys know i have like 12 pairs of black thigh highs but these are probably my favorite of all the ones that i have okay last thing about this outfit the shoes these run small they're small i got them in my normal size and they are small def 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 size up on these two the skirt and the shoes up up <laughs> I wish they fit me better because they are so cute and they are also really lightweight. Like I feel like it'd be easy to wear these around all day. The Demonia Neptunes that we were wearing in the last outfit, they have a similar chunky heel, but they are so fluffing heavy. <laughs> I'm like exhausted by the end of the day when I wear these. But these, I feel like I could like <laughs> throw these like a football. <laughs> They're so light, so light. They seem like decent quality, so I'm super bummed that they are on the small end. Maybe I can wear them for like pictures or something, or like put them up on display or something. <laughs> $40 for them, it seems accurate. It seems like the correct price for what you get. Okay, what's next? What's next, what's next, what's next? Woo, censored. <laughs> okay, this next outfit, oh, this looks so cool. This one looks like it's gonna be freaking awesome. And we got a shirt, we got pants, we got a little bag, and we got a choker necklace. Let's take a look, okay? Let's start with the shirt. ha -cha. This looks freaking so cool. This is a crop sweatshirt. It's like a thin sweatshirt material. Comfy. It's gonna be so comfy. <laughs> Split down the middle, and then the white side has hearts that go down the sleeves, and then the black side has broken hearts. This is another one of those that is one size only, so I have no idea how it's gonna fit. Shot in the dark, we'll see when it's on, but I don't know. <laughs> so to go with this little crop sweatshirt, I got these pants. Ooh, this is not the material I was expecting at all for these. Ooh, interesting. Okay, these are called text 
printing casual pants. I thought these were gonna be like sweatpants material. They do have the elastic band around the bottom down here. It's elastic with a drawstring up top up here, but the material is like slick. Weird. It kind of feels like what, like basketball shorts are made out of? Kind of. <laughs> it's not at all what I was expecting, but it feels good. It's just gonna be so good with this company. <laughs> this is totally my little badass outfit. I feel like in every video there's one where I'm like channeling <laughs> my like evil alter ego. <laughs> That's this outfit for this video. I need to get my mask. My little like face mask to go with this. And then also to go with this outfit, I have this bag which is the K-Cop, probably supposed to say K-Pop, <laughs> ring chest bag. Ooh, ooh, cool. So this bag is like fanny pack style bag, but it goes across your chest like this. This is nice. Ooh, I love this. These chains are like heavy, and you have a bunch of different little zipper pockets you can keep different things in. One, two, three, four five different zipper pockets. Dang, that's sick. Oh, this would be great for travel. It'd be great for like an amusement park, just anything like shopping or anything. Cute, I wanna wear it now. <laughs> oh my God, I love it, I love it. Look at it. <laughs> and it'd be really cool to split that white and black of the sweatshirt too. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And finally, I got this choker to go with the outfit as well. This is the Cyber Goth black and white choker and one side is white one side is black you got a big o-ring in the middle here and you have three snaps for the sizing so you better hope it fits you on one of those snaps okay ignore this guy <laughs> it fits me really well on the smallest this outfit is gonna be perfect y'all this is gonna be so good <laughs> So I think to top off the styling of this black and white outfit, I'm going to get a white wig, Rockstar Wigs 24 inch, long, straight, and white. And for shoes, I'm either between these wedge vans or like one white chuck and one black chuck. Like opposites of the shirt, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, let's try it on in design. Can you guys hear that thunder? Oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> God, it's storming so bad outside right now. Good thing my lights are brighter than the sun. <laughs> so dark. It's three o'clock and, and it's like pitch black outside. Help, help. Anyway, the clothes, the clothes. Oh my God, this looks awesome. This looks awesome. Badass indeed. I love this fit, yeah. You know what makes this outfit for me? This crossbody pack here, like I just think it looks so good. This little lightweight sweatshirt is wonderful. I love it. I love the style of it. The sleeves are a little bit short on me, but it's not like unwearable or anything like that. They're just not like super, super long. But yeah, I love the style of it. I love the hearts on the sleeves and then the broken hearts on this one. I think it looks so cool. Oh, and this choker, it's reversible, so you can flip it like to match your colors or like offset your colors or whatever. I think it's cool to have it like opposite of the shirt. Same way we have the shoes, ah, too far. <laughs> the shoes, opposite. The pants are so comfy. They're basically athletic pants that look cute as f Oh my God, they're so comfy. They're so comfy. Mm -hmm system overload okay i saved the one i'm most excited about for last because <laughs> if this outfit isn't me i don't know what is oh you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. <laughs> we have an alien outfit a bright lime green alien outfit look okay this shirt is the summary of my existence oh my god it's so good look at this it's like a girl unzipping her face to reveal her alien insides. It's me, y'all, it's me. <laughs> can relate, big time, can relate. Oh, it's me. And it says be yourself, which is like my thing. And it's not only this shirt I'm so excited about because I love lime green, like bright, obnoxious, glowing, yellowy green. 
so good. A style that I think about a lot when I think about K-pop or Korean street fashion is a long sleeve shirt underneath a t-shirt. And I got this lime green. So bright. <laughs> I don't even know if my camera is like reading this as green or just like blown out highlighter. Let me see if I turn everything down. Yeah, there we go. This is a long sleeve crop top, little mini turtleneck up here with like a little upside down heart see-through window in the chest here. So this obviously is gonna look so cool on its own, but for today, for our K-pop styling outfit, <laughs> I got it to wear underneath the alien shirt so that we have a little neon green collar and also just these neon arms. Ah, I'm so excited! <laughs> and in addition to that, I got <laughs> these neon green pants. <laughs> These are called fluorescent green pants and where's the lie? That is exactly what it is. They are like a lightweight, thin kind of pants with big boxy legs and the bottom has like a drawstring like that. So you can tighten them around your ankles, which I love. I'm just so excited to be a little alien monster face baby girl. Where is that green hair that I was wearing earlier? Where is it? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> and I think I will wear those black and white wedge vans with this outfit. I love wedges with like baggy pants like this with the little drawstring. I think they're gonna be perfect. Also, the black and white goes up with the black and white of the shirt. I love these together. I think it's gonna be great. My alien buddy friend backpack over here <laughs> from Dolls Kill. He has to come into this outfit. There's no question. Alien hair clip, alien necklace, and yeah, okay. I think this is gonna be so good. Okay. <laughs> my absolute final form dudes <laughs> i will be the alien princess that we all need the area 51 raid uniform right here right here right here i am living in this green right now this outfit makes me want to dye my hair green again so bad <laughs> no no Pink and orange only until the wedding, okay? But then it's on, boy. Okay, let me show you how this green hair, you sit here for a second, please, sir. You hold tight, you got it, you good? Let me show you how this green crop top fits because it is so bomb. Can this get over my wig? I don't know, we'll find out. I'm so green right now. <laughs> Look like a highlighter. This like lime green. <laughs> Highlighter green turtleneck crop. It just, it fits me just right. It hugs me perfectly. Oh my God, it just fits so good. And the pants, again, I got these in a large and I think that was the right call. It is a little bit loose on my waist here, but but it's not so loose that I feel like, I feel like if I size down, it wouldn't fit me like comfortably, you know? Like it might be like squeezy. I'm a fan of comfort. Have you have you gathered that yet? <laughs> All these are super weird material. <laughs> like super super lightweight. They're like almost windbreaker y or something. <laughs> but like without an elastic waist, so they're like really really lightweight with like no stretch at all. Weird, but I love them. The color is like identical to the Rockstar Wigs Rhapsody short in absence. So I'm guessing I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these bad boys because oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Did we make it? Not really. <laughs> the T is soft, it's big. Oh, let me stop tucking it and I'll show you the shape of it. <laughs> oh my god, it's perfect. <laughs> it is soft, it is big, and it fits just right for the Korean fashion style that I'm going for with this look. But again, it is just a t-shirt, so I think the $30, $35, however much it is, price tag is a bit steep, but overall, the outfit is just like, this is the best outfit ever! <laughs> Beam. Me. The mask just makes all of these outfits a hundred times cooler. <laughs> but that's it! That's it for this video! That is it for the MZ Korean Fashion Haul in China. I hope you saw some stuff that you like in here. Definitely let me know in the comments below which outfit is your favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you, Unzi, for sponsoring this video. And thank you, Rock, for being our featured patron. You're amazing. I love you. <laughs> I will see you in my next video unless I get beamed up to space and then I'll never see you again. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs>